So here's a beer bought from um, Smiling Grape, aka lowcostbeer.com, gifted by a friend of the channel. Massive thank you to that friend. You know who you are if you still watch these videos. Um, and this is from Sly Fox Brewing Company. I've never heard of Sly Fox Brewing Company, so good evening to you, good people. Um, this is Softly Falling Darkness Oatmeal Stout. There we go. Nice can design. Um, based in Pottstown, Pen PA, Pennsylvania. Imported by Beer 52. Okay. So, um, take, yeah, Pennsylvania, it says on the back. Didn't read that, did I? 5.9%. Take the edge off. Daylight rains and night descends. Hearty malts come out to play. Settle in with this deep, rich stout, softened by heaps of oats and velvety notes of dark chocolate. So, sounds amazing. Let's give it a swirl and uh, let's get it in the can. So, an American beer. I didn't realise I had one sat on the wall. I've got some sat on the wall, some of the own bargain strawberries. Yeah, some of them are good and some of them are a bit ropey, shall we say. And I need to hit them soon, get them out of the way. Um, here we go. So, lovely black pour. Get a bit of a beige head on there. There we go, there's the can. And, uh, yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Um, ooh. Not many times with an oatmeal stack can you smell like an oaty. Like a bit of breakfast cereal going off it's like a subtle chocolate but yeah like a breakfast cereal oh so i was in the kitchen in the front room a minute ago and i'm, I'm stood there like this and the wife catches me foot and it jarred me old leg and uh the car removed me leg i had shooting pains all the way up and before Christmas, I had this moment when I got out of a car and with my leg, it's only the left leg, the right leg's fine. And I could not move the whole leg. I'm not doing anything. And uh, literally, it's scaring the hell out of me. Uh, I'm going to have to go to the doctors. I don't uh, quite know what's happening. Is it an old age thing? Is it an overworked thing? There's lots of people who work silly bloody hours and, you know, really work the backsides off. So, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's chilly in here tonight. Gotta be honest. I was feeling the chilliness. So, anyway. Um, yeah. Still getting that breakfast cereal, oaty um, aroma. Mmm. Oh, that's a super bloody smooth beer. Chocolatey, oaty, smooth as you like, you know. Obviously, I do this as a hobby, so I'm not some bloody expert who's gone to college for four years or done all that. Although I've been reviewing for six. So, and I've drank a lot of beer over the years. So, um, you'll get so much of the taste, but you're not going to get it all. Um, and then there's, sometimes it's the way you describe it. So, obviously, being English, being from Nottingham, the home of Robin Hood, Torblandine, Nottingham Forest, Notts County, and Raggy's Beer Reviews. Yeah. And probably a lot of other people as well. But, uh, we're not mentioning them at the moment. Um, now this is what I like and love about low cost beer and smiling grape. They just have beers, the most random beers from random breweries. And 
you, you go to a lot of these bottle shops, beer shops, one, you're paying a lot more for your beer. Um, obviously, you know, we don't know what price they pay. It's not our, it's certainly not my business. But what price they put on to sell the beer, again, you know, that's that's their business and, and that. But as long as they're, if they're cheaper than the rest, then that's where, you know, it's good business because it brings people in. And they'll have stuff, they'll have stuff on sale there that nobody else seems to have. And then they do the bottle beer. And and you, you'll you get the people on that, the likes of UK Craft Beer Forum, you know, uh, or the, the, the gods, you know, they are the gods, so they fucking think they are. And, uh, yeah, um... I sometimes wonder who's arse though, because, you know, it's the, it's the way they are, oh, uh, you know, and there's a way of saying something, and, uh, they, I got warnings for posting about certain beers, and it's like, you miserable swine, so, I don't even bother with them now, I've come off that forum, and they big up yours, um, you are certainly not, they are certainly not, no, the elite, and, uh, yeah, I couldn't care less. And the funny thing is, when I gave them a bit back, they didn't like it. So they came on Twitter after me and I deleted the comments, blocked and deleted them. Didn't like it, did they? Oh, well. Taste your own medicine, boys. Yeah. And uh, I don't need horses. I, I can be that person. I tend not to be. I try not to be that person. That person, you, you know, who, who, who gives it back. But, you know, when, an arse, when someone's being an arsehole, then... Yeah, I, I'm good at that bit, that put, get it some back and then stir in the pot a bit more and then giving it back again. And, uh, but in any case, wow, what a beer, beautiful. Yeah, and they, they didn't like me because for some reason they've got this thing against low cost beer with the Panda Pop bottles. Most of the beer people I know who drink the craft beer absolutely love the fact that they can get keg beer in craft beer, bo in plastic bottles to drink at home. You drink it at home, you pour it, it's exactly the same as it comes out the keg. Eh, but it's been put in plastic bottles. You think, oh, for fuck's sake, grow up. Um, I'm a home brewer. I home brew in plastic bottles, you know. I home brew in glass bottles as well. And uh, I don't see no difference. So, yeah. And I care not. <laughs> I don't mind saying it either. <laughs> That's why I keep beer reviews for you. Yeah. Always a trouble causer. Someone's got to be, haven't they? But anyway, cracking American beer from Pennsylvania. It smells amazing. And this is what I mean with, with Smiling Grape. I would never ever come across this beer in a UK supermarket or UK bottle shop. We've got one in Nottingham, Brew Cavern. They do get some American beers. But, you know, you couldn't be paying like a ten of a flipping beer. So, yeah, pricey. Um, I mean, they do have the Steve Austin beers, but they're really expensive. I only want to review the flipping beer. But they only sell it in four packs. And it's like 25 quid or 30 quid for four. So you're looking at £7.58 quid a beer. And it's like, no, I'm not paying that. I'm not doing it. I'm not paying that much just because. And I'm not having four flipping beers when I only really want to drink one beer to do the review. And I've got a review of Steve Austin, but it's, it's sat on my broken phone. I think that's my... That, that needs to be my thing soon, to go and get that flipping phone repaired. Or at least get my reviews off it. So, really enjoyed this. Um, chocolatey, oaty. You know, you've heard what I said. Cracking beer. Um... I didn't realise I, I had it on the shelves. Another American beer sat down there. Uh, the beer wall is starting to shrink back in now. Um, there's not many beers that have been double 
doubled up so I can actually see up most of the beers now that I've got on the beer wall. Um, would I drink it again? Hell yes. Um, out of five for me, good 4.4 out of five. Very good beer. Um, and, uh, and great to have a new brewery on, on the channel, uh, an American brewery at uh, that as well. Uh, one day I will get back to America, one day, hopefully anyway, hopefully, there's always hope. Um, yeah, hopefully anyway, yeah, or a lot of rain, one of the two. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, see you soon, cheers everyone.